Well, we are Raji and Tony King, and um, we've been married for 13 years. We adopted sweet little oh. Amelia. This is Amelia. And we also have two other boys, Jameson and Jackson. Jameson is eight, Jackson is five. We were married for about five years, and then we got pregnant with our first son, Jameson. Mm -hmm. We had a very complicated mm -hmm. pregnancy, so we weren't sure what we were gonna do as far as kids after that. We got pregnant with Jackson mm -hmm. while we were thinking <laughs> about it. And so we got pregnant with Jackson, had another fairly complicated pregnancy, and decided that we didn't want for me to be pregnant again. Raji, from a young age, had always had the desire to adopt, and that was something that was always on his heart. So we put in our initial application to adopt, and from the time we put in the initial application to the time we were actually approved and on a list was about two years. And then we get on a wait list and you wait for birth parents to choose you. So at this point, it had been about two years and eight months, two years and nine months that we had waited, and we were starting to feel like like this is gonna take forever, are we ever gonna be chosen? After some hard nights, um, we decided that we were no longer gonna pursue adoption. So then I told Raji one day that I was gonna call our social worker and let her know that we were, we wanted to be removed from the list. And that was after you had kind of said, oh, I'll call her, oh, I'll call her, and probably two weeks of that going back and forth and me saying, did you call the social worker? Did you call her? It was kind of a, a miracle that you didn't even, that you didn't call earlier. Right, so I called the social worker, she didn't answer, so then I called the main office. So she answered the phone and said, hi, Tony, did you get my message? And I was like, you called me? I said, why'd you call me? She said, well, you tell me why you're calling first. So I said, okay. So I explained to her that we wanted to remove our, our name and withdraw from adoption. We were ready to move on to the next phase of our life. And she said, I was actually just calling you to let you know that you had just been chosen by an adoptive family this morning, or by a birth family this morning. I remember about two weeks prior that, that night being really hard for me and just praying and saying, God, I felt all along like this was something that you had for our family. And if it is, I need you to act fast. I need you to, and it needs to be really obvious. I think Tony had always wanted a little girl, so I just prayed, and God, if you want to, just make it a little girl so it'll be really obvious uh, that you want us to adopt. It was like the script was written for us. So that was in August of 2013, and in October of 2013, Amelia was born. We're totally excited to have her to be a part of our family. Um, she feels absolutely like like she fits, like she's part of us. You know, in, in bringing this to narrate, we can obviously just live this out between us and, and God. But in bringing this to narrate, I think that the reality is is that we believe that there's a reason that this all happened, um, and we just need your prayers uh, so that God's kingdom can come in her life and our lives and his story that he wants to tell with this situation. And I think that we're here for accountability. Um, we're here for friendships and, and people, the community at Neri to, to call us on stuff or to help us or to come, along, come alongside us and support us. And we, we desperately need uh, your friendship and your prayer in that regard. Well, I think that's it. That's it.